Hallelujah. I just love the way God introduces things. Amen. Two powerful words this morning. I believe it just kind of set my mouth my, my message in the motion. <clears throat> and uh, what I'm going to be talking about this morning, I, I've got it titled Faith and Fear. And that's where we're at this morning, folks. Faith and fear? Faith and okay. fear. Not faith in fear. Faith and fear don't mix. It never will. Faith and fear. And see, faith comes by hearing. And hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. Or hearing good news. Hearing positive things. You know, Amen. faith comes that way. Fear comes the same way. Fear comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. Negative, negative, negative. Come on. What have we been hearing the last few days? If you listen to any kind of news broadcast, it, it don't matter if you listen to Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, Newsmax. Cancel Fox. Fox. Yeah. CNN. All of them, you're going to hear bad news. But what I'm saying is you've got to get your ear off of that. Yes. Because you know, I've been listening to it a lot this week, past week. And I find myself when I'm when I'm listening to it, I'm beginning to get antsy inside me about this. Yeah. And I get nervous inside. And when you begin to get antsy and nervous, you're starting to worry. Come on. And you can't worry about this. That's right. Because when you're worrying, then you have no faith in you for, for what Jesus is doing, what God's doing. That's true. Right. You can't look at what's going on around you. That's right. You've got to keep your eyes on Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. There's a lot of things going on that we can't see. And there's a lot of people thinks that it's over with. Yeah. But it ain't. That's right. I thank God for the man in the warehouse, in the, in the warehouse, in the White House <laughs> that we've got right now. And I believe, I believe he's going to stay there. Yeah. I believe that. My text this morning is in Mark chapter 11. Can anybody finish it off? 23 and 24. You did. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's, it's Mark 11, 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he, now this is what I want you to hear the most of, which he saith yeah. shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. This is very important, folks. And the devil knows this. The devil knows this scripture. The devil knows that you're going to have whatsoever you say. That's why he's trying to get people in fear. Because if he can get them in fear, and he can get them to speak in these things, 
then that's how he that's how he gets his weapons out there. That's how yeah, I'm talking about in the spiritual. See, we battle not we're not battling with, with flesh and blood. Come on. Yeah. We're battling with principalities and powers in high places that have already been defeated. Come on. Amen. Amen. They've already been defeated, yep. folks. Yeah. But so many times in this earth we end up giving them victory with our mouth. Come on. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Whether it's good or bad, you're going to have whatsoever he saith if you believe it in your heart. And so many times, see that's the key. What you believe in your heart and you say out your mouth, it shall come to pass. And people begin to say things. You get in a crowd of people and they go to talk and you get that get and, and and not even thinking, but they go begin to say things that's coming from their heart. And when it's coming from your heart, because out of the heart the mouth speaks. Yeah. And out of the heart the mouth speaks, and when it speaks, it's out there then to create. Good or bad. Yeah. Now I know a lot of people may hear this. Oh, boy, he's, he's way out there. Where's he coming from? He's been on some planet somewhere. Or well, you just keep believing that. But this world came into existence by being spoken yeah. into existence. That's it. God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. God said, "Separate the waters from the earth, from the land," and it was so. God said, let there be animals, and it was so. God said, let us create man in our image and in our likeness. And he did. And see, girls, God created us like him, and we have the ability to speak things into our life. We're like him. Amen. 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 That's why you're so beautiful, because you look like God. Did you ever know that? <laughs> what are we saying about the election? Come on. What are we saying? When we get around other people, what are we saying? You know, I, I went down yesterday to the uh, family reunion, <clears throat> and uh, one of my cousins came up, and she, uh, she said, I, I am so disappointed right now. And I, I hadn't heard the news. I said, I said, why? She said, you hadn't heard the news? I said, no. And she said, they've given Pennsylvania to, to buy it. Well, who is that? Come on. Yeah. No, Nobody officially has done that. It's the news. Yeah. Well, why did the news do that? Because they're trying to build a narrative. Exactly. Yep. They're getting people to talking. People's talking that, well, we've lost. Well, it's over with. Well, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, it's going to be a battle now. And they just go to saying things. And you see, here's the thing. The heathen out there saying things, they're going to say it anyway. But you got the Christian people. Yep. That are rattling this stuff off. You know, it ain't over yet, folks. It ain't over yet. It's just beginning. And we got a man in the White House now that ain't gonna lay down and take it. If they get him out of there, he's gonna go out kicking and screaming. But he ain't going out. And my faith is not in him being in there. I just believe with all my heart he is the man that is to be in there for the next four years. Amen. Because God spoke that through his prophets. And I'm getting ahead of myself. That's why the devil is... I mean, that's why the newscast declares all this is because... They want people 
They want people to say, you know, he, he, the devil is wanting people to say what the news people say. You know, I made a statement yesterday. I said, it ain't over with. And another fellow said, oh, it's over. It's over. They ain't going to find no evidence. It's over. They ain't going to be able to do it. This Christian guy. Christian guy saying this. It's over. That's sad. That's sad that Christian people don't have no faith. Come on. But they'll tell you they do. Come on. It's sad they're not even stopping to ask God what He says. Exactly. Just taking the face off. We need to hold fast to our confession. Amen. And don't look at what's happening. Yep. Yeah. If you can't say nothing else, just keep saying it ain't over yet. Just keep saying it ain't over yet. Because you see, there was a time, there was a, a, a time in, in, in times past that they 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 brought this guy and for three years he had done all kind of great things. And everybody loved him thought he was the greatest and then all of a sudden in one week everybody turns against him. And then they hung him on this tree. And everybody thought it's over with. Come on. Yeah. Yep. It's damn it's it's we've lost. What are we gonna do? Yeah. The saddest, saddest time in their life. I thought, I thought, I thought we, I thought he was it. I, I thought we was going to, I thought, I thought. Three days later. Wow. And nothing's been the same since then. Hallelujah. And victory's been ours ever since then. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we do not live in defeat ever since then. That's right. Because He took the keys of death, hell, and the grave away. That's right. And He has given us authority. Amen. And He said, y'all change things now. Yep. Come on. See, we've got to learn to speak out the things and declare the things that we want to come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. And I, I, I really believe this this morning. That's why I had Donna and Molly come up. I put them on the spot and had them come but I felt like that our, our praise and worship moved some things this morning. Yes. Yes. It was Holy Spirit. It was Holy Ghost uh, uh, led. Uh, there were songs. I mean, it was just, and, and I kept hearing the noise this little church makes. Praise God. <laughs> the noise this little church makes. It's 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 ring it's ringing up there just 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 it's it's like it's breaking through. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. hallelujah. Yeah, the warfare. This and, and it's just it's like wow. Listen, listen to that, Gabriel. You hear that? Isn't that beautiful? They are worshiping me. They're not downhearted this morning. They're not worrying about Biden. They're worshiping me. Amen. 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 He's still king, folks. Yes. Jesus is king. Jesus is king. What are we praying? What are we praying about this? Come on. You know, you can't go to praying and wringing your hands when you're talking to God about this. Oh God, look what they're doing. He knows what they're doing. <laughs> I'm praying no weapon formed against the righteous one. That's right. Amen. I'm praying for wisdom for our president and his people. Amen. Yeah. See, that's biblical, folks. 
Pray that no weapon formed against the righteous shall prosper. That's biblical. Yeah. When you pray that, you're getting somewhere. Yeah. You can pray that in faith. Yeah. Because you pray in Bible. When you pray giving President Trump and, the, and his people around him wisdom, you're praying Bible. Because the Bible says if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of the Father who gives it literally. Yeah. All of those guys up there lack wisdom, and we're asking God to give them wisdom. And He's going to do it. Amen. Because it's going to take God's wisdom to maneuver and root out all of this evil. 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 Yeah. I'm praying that what is hidden will be revealed. Right. Yes. Amen. I'm just, that's just three things that, that we can pray. <clears throat> And then, this is a key. And I don't know that this church is guilty of it as much as a lot of them are, but we can be. So let's don't get up on our high horse and think that we ain't. Stop being a mouthpiece for the devil. Come on. Stop being a mouthpiece for the devil. You can get in a crowd of people and if you don't watch yourself, you'll say things that normally you wouldn't say. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, it's just, you're being a mouthpiece for them. We've got to guard that tongue. Yes. Because that tongue is a world of evil. It will set it will set the course of your life. That tongue will. Yeah. Yeah. It will say whether you're going to be prosperous or poor. It will say whether you're going to be sick or healthy. It will say whether you're going to be pretty or ugly. Well, wait a minute. If you believe you look good and you're pretty, you'll say it. But if you don't believe it, you'll say you're ugly, and you'll be ugly. Amen. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I know I'm good looking. <laughs> I know I'm handsome. I don't mind saying it. I mean, if I didn't look as good as I do and wasn't as handsome and sharp looking, I never would have got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I got to throw a little fun in there. <laughs> The devil knows that the way to get something in the earth is it has to be spoken into existence. Yeah. The that devil knows true. that. that you, know, you know how he knows that? That's how he came into existence. God created him. Yeah. That's true. God spoke him into existence. And then he was around when God spoke the earth into existence. Yeah. He was around, folks. Yeah, and he knows that's how it, that's how it happens. And then he stole what Adam had. He 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 uh, connived Adam out of what Adam had. Cause see, Adam had the ability to speak things. Amen. Yeah, because he can't speak it himself. Well, he's not created in God's image. Exactly. But he knows that that's it right. He's got to have somebody say it. And he knows that that's how it happens. And that's how it gets in here. And that's how this battle is going to be won or lost. I wrote this down. I believe that what is said in churches across America today will have a great bearing on what is happening. Yeah. I mean, look what we're saying. We're saying we're saying good things. We're not talking doubt and unbelief. 
And I believe that there's a lot of other churches across this land oh, yeah. that are not talking down in unbelief. Right. And if you've got, if, if one puts a thousand to flight, two puts ten thousand to flight, three puts a million to flight, and so on, we're one church. And I bet you there's more. I know of a few that I believe are saying positive and right things this morning and they're not up doom, gloom, despair on me. Oh, Biden, what are we going to do? I believe that there's churches all across this land that are saying the right thing. Yeah, now I, I, there's probably churches out there that are saying wrong things. But we're not dwelling on that. I, I believe, I choose to believe that the body of Christ in America is strong enough to pull this off. Well, God has an army of Hallelujah. I believe that. Amen. But see, that's how it's going to be pulled off is the body of Christ. Praying and believing God. Yes, pre President Trump and his team and all, they're going to be the instruments that is used to bring out and uncover all this this stinking monk, that mess that's that's there. <clears throat> but all that is hidden will be revealed. Amen. We, <clears throat> we need to pray that. And we need to believe that. And if you can't say and believe that Trump will win in the end of this thing, then just don't say anything. And see, like yesterday, don't get in an argument with people about, about it either. Just keep quiet and move on. It's like yesterday when the, I was down there and it was talking, you know, and, and I said, it ain't over yet. Oh, it's over yet. Well, I could see right away there wasn't no use right. in me trying to get my point out because, you know, you're there and they got five others. It's over. So what do you do? You just keep quiet and you move on. You don't let you don't give them no reason to go blah 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 about me. Right. You see? Because if you keep arguing with them, then they're getting words out, and you're getting words out, and they're getting words out, and you're getting words out. But you're not getting nowhere. Amen? Amen. So sometimes it's best to just keep your mouth shut and move on. Now, if you think that you can get somewhere with it, go on, but you know. You got to be led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sometimes it's not nothing wrong with keeping your mouth shut and moving on, because the Bible said, "Don't cast your pearl before swine." A lot of times you got pearls in your mouth, and they don't need to be revealed. Sometimes we think that we got to reveal everything we know. We don't need to reveal everything we know. Come on. All, 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 you know, all the time. When Jesus walked the earth. He knew, he knew a lot of things. But he didn't just go around blabbing everything he knew. He got, it aggravated people because he wouldn't say it wouldn't he wouldn't say everything he knew. It made them so mad they could spit snakes out at him. Remember, 20 years ago, what happened 20 years ago? Al Gore and, and, and George W. Bush, it, it, it was when, uh, George W. Bush was the first term, or George W. Bush was one. They had declared Al Gore the winner. But then they had them little hanging chides, and they spent 37 days and Al Gore went to court about it. But Bush won. See? So it ain't over yet. Yeah, it ain't over yet. It just began. And they've been prophecies that's been spoken that Bush will serve two terms. And see, we begin to get, we see these things as happening with, well, I thought God said it. Right, right. Right there, when you go there, well, I thought God said this. When you say, I thought, you're doubt. And 
see, what you need to say is, I don't believe that. God said this through His prophets, and I believe that it's going to happen. Amen. And see, that's what I believe. Yeah. I don't believe that the, the prophets that spoke this is, is false prophets because this ain't happened yet. I believe it's going to happen. Right. Yeah. You know, one of the prophets that spoke it, he's already gone from here. But he was a pretty, I mean, I think if I, if I remember correctly, he was pretty accurate was prophet. Accurate, yeah. You know, when he, when he, when he, when he says that this and this is going to happen, it, it happened. happened. And there's been other prophets said the same thing. So, we need to stay with what we believe. Because you can't walk by sight. You've got to walk by faith. And you've got to guard your heart and not let fear in. And sometimes you're going to have to just shut that radio off and shut that TV off and turn that phone off. And turn heaven on. Amen? Sometimes you may need to just just get out. You know, if you need to, come up here. But you know, if you're at your house, you can do it at your house. You ain't got to come here, but you can come here and pray anytime you want to. Anytime you want to, you can come here and pray. But I, I'm just, I want to emphasize to you this morning. Don't let fear in. And I know, I know we all tend to want to, because I mean, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I keep wanting to listen about what's going on and on. You know, right before church, I was listening to Bill O'Reilly. I, I do try to, I do try to choose who I'm listening to. I, I try to, I try to listen to someone that's gonna, gonna, uh, gonna give the truth out. And, 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 uh, and how, you know, like uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh, I, I like listening to him because he's a Trumpster. And he, he, uh, he's, 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 you know, it's just a lot of positive there. You know, so, so in this time, in this time that we in, uh, we need to we need to guard what we're hearing. Amen. We need to guard what we're seeing. And for sure, we need to guard what we're saying. Amen. Because life and death are right there. Yeah. And we need to choose life and we need to speak life. Amen. And if we say, I, I'm not giving up, I believe I believe Trump's going to Trump, I believe he's going to make it, I believe he's going to make it, and when it's all said and done, he don't, and then, you know, we can't go around and say, worrying about whether he's going to make it, but we got to go around knowing that he is. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. And don't let worry get into it. Because God has got this, and Jesus is King. Amen. And there ain't but one thing they can do. Kill. kill and all they can do is kill this body because once they kill this body, it's all beginning for me. So it ain't worried me. Because from to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. And there ain't nothing better than that. Ain't that right, Sam? Amen. Stand to your feet.